Jared Kelnick has been traded to the Atlanta Braves, and it may be dangerous for the rest of the MLB. The Braves traded right-handers Jackson Coar and Cole Phillips to the Mariners in exchange for outfielders Jared Kelnick, starting pitcher Marco Gonzalez, and first baseman Evan White, first reported by the Athletics' Ken Rosenthal. This trade is basically a salary dump for the Mariners, who gave up Evan White and Marco Gonzalez. Gonzalez is owed $12 million this season, and White, who hasn't played in MLB since 2021, and when he did play, was terrible, is owed $15 million over the next two seasons. Reports have already come out from Ken Rosenthal that the Braves are looking to flip Marco Gonzalez as soon as possible. This trade for the Braves, though, could be insane. Kelnick is a former top 5 prospect and has potential through the roof. Unfortunately for him, he hasn't reached it yet, at all. In his first two seasons with Seattle, he hit to a 66 OPS plus with 21 home runs and 147 games. He also struck out over 160 times and walked only 52 times during that time period. To say Kelnick was bad would be an understatement. He was practically unplayable, and he was. He spent time in the minor leagues in both seasons. 2023 showed some of Kelnick's true potential. In April, he had an insane month, hitting 7 home runs in 24 games with an OPS well over 1,000. Unfortunately for Kelnick, that would be his best month by far, as he wouldn't have another month close to that level of production for the rest of the season. Kelnick did deal with a foot injury halfway through the season on July 19th, when he kicked a water cooler versus the Twins and broke his foot. He would come back in the middle of September, and was not good in the final weeks of the season. Overall in 2023 though, Kelnick had the best season of his career. His OPS Plus was 109, by far the best of his career, as well as his 1.3 F4, which was also the best of his career. So if these numbers, which aren't great, are the best of his career, why is this trade dangerous to the rest of baseball? Kelnick is still only 24 years old, and there is still some left in the tank. He was outstanding to start the season last year, and eventually cooled off. Kelnick seems like a hot or cold player. He's either blazing hot or ice cold. When you look at some of the underlying numbers, there are some things to be encouraged by, like his hard hit rate, exit velocity, arm strength, and walk rate. There are also some things to be concerned about, such as his abysmal strikeout rate, as well as his questionable fielding. To grade these trades for each team, I would give the Braves a B+. They got a young player with what seems like untapped potential for practically nothing. While they did have to take on some bad contracts, it's worth it to take a flyer on a player who could blossom with your team. For the Mariners, I would give them a B. Kelnick didn't seem to be working out in Seattle, and they got rid of some contracts they didn't want. They didn't get a great return, and Phillips is the only promising piece as he was a second round pick in the 2022 draft, but missed the entirety of last season with an injury. Let me know what you guys think of this trade in the comments below, and thank you for watching.